Hey, hey, yo, you mechanical maniacs, Chris Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. And as promised from the last video, we are going to concentrate in the next three or so minutes on this beautiful Dodge Charger. So, you know what? Cue the music. What do you think about this 1969 Dodge Charger? Yeah, we did uh, we did some upgrades to it. We did go with a 16-inch rim on the back. I don't know if you caught that in that whole um, montage there. Speaking of which, that music was called Leadfoot by Ethan Maxell. This is a, a, like the new um, uh, YouTube uh, free-to-use music. So yeah, that was... I spent some time trying to find me a good tune that was going to match up with what I was doing. I thought that did a pretty good job. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My throat's a little uh, um, flimmy tonight. Um, we did go with 16s on uh, on this beast. And if you look... Um, oh, it didn't show what it is. Okay. Um, we went uh, with a almost like a 385 on the back of this thing. It is these, these things. Hang on, things are freaking huge, man. Yeah, they are. Uh, went with a full red underneath, and I actually, when I did something to the engine, I should have went with something else. So I went full red and white underneath here, full red and white underneath the front end as well. So it kind of complements that burgundy red that's up there. Kind of a little bit off, but I didn't know what else to do with that um, besides that. As far as the engine compartment is concerned, I can pop the hood on here. Get a better look at it. We kept the 383 or the six pack that was in it. I did paint the valve covers this gray color, and I comment, I'm kind of like second guessing what I did here. Um, I should have probably painted those the uh, burgundy of the car, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe I'm not sure but what I am going to do is I'm going to move this uh, out of the garage for right now um, and let's see here I want to put it it'll go in one of these spots so um, I'll move it around as I see fit let's go ahead and put this out in the parking area 
Let's see where it shows up outside. If it does. Oh, that's thinking. There she is. Yeah, look at that beauty. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So we're going to keep her there. That is probably my most prized possession right there. I mean, because I just think it's a beautiful car and the mileage, 135. Um, this is just a prized possession just because it was my first uh, trash to track uh, car. Uh, this is my second trash to track car that I'm actually starting to rebuild slowly but surely just because uh, I just wanted a nice looking hot rod. It's almost the same color as the as the as the charger. Just about. You would think I'd have this fetish with this color or something. I don't know. Alright, so let's get back at it. So welcome back to Barn Bargains. Um oh, Welcome back to my Barn Bargains series here. Let's get back on track here. We did take the engine off of the stand over there and put it in the Roadrunner just because I was rebuilding the one for the charger. So we do have some things that need to be done here. I don't have a transmission. Um, I don't have the front piece of this at all. So what we are going to do is I need to go over here and grab pieces to the Roadrunner here. Um, so all these are good to go, right? Ignition coil, the camshaft. Um, I did throw some pieces. I did find some pieces out and about. So I did repair some of them, but not all of them. And it's not letting me repair the camshaft, really? It will not let me repair. I cannot believe that. All right. Well, after all this time, I could have just bought the damn camshaft. Huh. Okay, <laughs> I did not know that. I wish I had. And oh well, it's all it's all good, right? It's all good. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a stock camshaft, and we'll put this back together in the car. Oh hey, why not, right? We'll go ignition coil, camshaft. I don't think I have a gear. A gear is something that I have to buy. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I think this Roadrunner is going to be... I have a chain? Yes, I do. In the front cover. Water pump. For the most part, I'll have this all back together today, I think. Not a problem. So how is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, after that little episode with the... Uh... Okay, so I need that. I need that. So what did you think of the montage? Or the uh, time lapse? Uh, some people like them. Some people don't. I was just curious. That's a power steering pump. I may need that. Crap. Okay. Let's get uh, crankshaft pulley a need. And I'm going to need that water pump pulley because those are not repairable. I know for a fact. Um, let's see if I have a power steering. Uh, I need power steering pump. Engine exhaust. Aim. All right, power steering. Oh no! Oh wait a minute. Oh, oh, I'll take the worst one of the bunch. There we go. I think these can be repaired. Yes. Thank goodness. Who say what? I have to buy a power steering pump for what some odd reason, but that's okay. Um. All right, so we got. Power steering pump, water pump pulley, crankshaft. Now it's nothing but belts. Go. And serpentine belt.
And I don't think the fans are repairable, but fan B. Let's go see if there we have a fan B. Let's see if I can repair one. If I have one back here, I don't know. Uh, e F. I don't have a fan. No, oh, here we go. Radiator fan B. Let's see if we can repair this. Or do I have to buy new? Oh, I can repair it. All right, cool. Good thing I have one. Yeah, I've been trying to collect parts here and there. Always a challenge to keep to keep that balance because I know the work shut the my uh, my storeroom is limited, and I don't mean limited by the stuff I put in there, but my my. <laughs> I don't want to bog myself down, right? So. Okay, so do I have a drive shaft? Yes. Those back there. All right, uh, do I have a starter? Nope, I don't have the exhaust. Oh, I do. I have those exhausts, I don't have this exhaust. I need a couple of those bad boys. Those are not even part of looking at trying to find or trying to repair them. Um, two of you. Yep. Put that on that side, that on that side. All right, let's go see if I have a starter in the storeroom. I do believe I do. Uh, it would be under the electronics, I believe. Yeah, starter V8. Gotcha. Not many of them in there. I've been able to take care of it. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, uh, <laughs> put the old starter on there. Just like that. Uh, You know, I just realized I probably have one more piece that I don't have on me. And that is the engine cover. Uh, anything here? Nope. I'm going to get... Go ahead and throw that camshaft. Storeroom, just in case. Onyx. Engines and exhaust. Boom. Uh, what do I have in the Roadrunner? I took everything out of it, didn't I? Oh, 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 oh no. No! I was so close. Framework is 86%. What are we missing? Oh, my goodness. Um, hang on. Everything's 100%. Oh, I didn't put the welder on it, I think. Okay. All right. I'm good. <laughs> I am golden. Thank goodness. Okay, we're down there. It looked like it was in such a decent shape, I think. All right. So we're going to use the equipment. 1500 bucks. There we go. Spot welding on that bad boy. Now we should be 100% across the board. And yes, we are. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and throw her. Um, we are going to move her over to the test path. We're going to do all the things that we would normally do um, before we sell it. We don't want to sell it outright and have someone get into an accident. So we're going to everything we can to make it right. Go. And now for headlight alignment. I like it kind of centered with a little slightly above that line. You'll notice that in most of my other videos that I do, I feel like it has to be just slightly above that line. Um, 
Yeah, I need to be painted, so let's go ahead and send her to the paint shop. And we're going to paint it back to its original color. Whatever that original color is. Factory color, that's what it is. That's what we're going to paint. Um, I don't know if it had any other. This is just a standard Roadrunner, so we're just going to go with that. Nice, beautiful paint job. Now let's move it over to the dino shop. Uh, let's see. Did I fill the fluids up in this bad boy? I don't know if I did or not. Nope, I did not. So let me go ahead and do that real quick while I'm thinking about it. All right. Uh, there power steering fluid. I don't see one remember if there was one or not it's been i've been messing with this car for the past couple of weeks so it's it, you kind of lose you start losing a little bit thinking you, you know everything about the car but yeah no not for me i am dazed and confused at this point No power steering fluid. That's good with me. I enjoy that. Um, I don't really care myself. Everything's good to go. All right, now let's put the hood on that. Go ahead and start a dyno test. We should be good at 348 at 445. So let's see what we got. rating at 157 which honestly this car would end up getting spanked out on the track to be quite honest with you all right we have gotten the roadrunner back in shape it looks like we've done a pretty good job with it so let's go ahead and send her on our way we are going to sell her i'm going to sell her for a good 85 109 that's nice she is done so what does that leave us now for barn bargains and other cheap challenges? We've taken care of the charger. We're kind of playing around with the hot rod. Now we could take the hot rod back out to the track and see if we can win some more money with it because I need to I need to start working on the horn suspension here and uh, I'm sure I need some new bushings and such. Um, or we can go out to the junkyard or to the auction block uh, or to another barn and see if we can find uh, see if we can find a challenge now I don't remember what our last challenge was but maybe we should work on a 15k challenge that's including the car so 15k including the car so let's go ahead and we'll go inside here um go ahead and hit a barn first and then we may go to an auction let's do a barn up first all right we're just going to do this one time in here and see what we get here there's a mustang no tires uh what's the engine looks like it's there Bad head cover, a bad clip. Okay. Exhaust components are missing. Uh, it's missing two wheels and two tires, which is not really good. Um, what is the price tag on this? That would be the 87. Way out of my range. Way out of my range. So let's take a look around here. We're not. We're not dealing with that. Uh, we have here all four tires. Um, got an engine. Most of the engine, it looks like. Okay. So, what's the price tag on this bad boy? 
17. Nope. Can't do that either. So we're, uh, we're looking at 15K. 15K is our price. We're looking at staying under and getting it on the road with. So yeah, that's not even going to help us. I think I should have something over here. Ah. Got the Moonhawk over here. Missing a fender. Okay, hey, what are you looking at? What, what's, what's the price tag on you? 37. No, that's not, that's way out of my price, too. Let's go ahead and head back to the garage. All right, so that didn't work in the barn. Okay, so I think what we need to do is actually head out to the junkyard. Um, I hate doing that just because that's usually my Rot to Rad series. But let's go ahead and go out there and see if we can find ourselves a challenge. So this is the junkyard. And let's go. Okay, so we're going to go out here in the junkyard, and I'll just let you know right up front. I am running the QOL mod, the quality of life mod. So every spot out here in the junkyard will be filled. So we are going to have our pick of the litter, so to speak, of what we can do. Um, got this Range Rover for four grand which means i could buy it for four grand and i'd have another 10 to um get it back into shape looks like it's in pretty rough shape though to be honest with you i don't know if i could do that um body parts and all it looks like it's in pretty bad shape the engine looks like it's in i don't know it's it's pretty solid i mean it's got a lot of the pieces We'll keep looking around and see what we got here. Uh, what do we got here? This is a GTR. Uh, what's the price tag on that? 21? Way over budget. So we're not even going to use that. Uh, we got a Jeep. What is this? A Jeep Cherokee here? No interior. Six cylinder. Uh, all wheels. Okay. What's the price tag on this bad boy? Four grand as well. So we could get it for four grand and sink another ten grand into it. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the engine. The engine does not look like it's all that bad. Uh, missing an air filter. Missing a cover. Looks like. Uh, some rocker arms, which are not really all that expensive. Uh, some of the major components look like we're in pretty good shape here. So I am thinking Jeep Cherokee might be the way to go here. It's mostly all body parts. Um, what do we have over here? We have another Land Rover, which is going to be, well, it's eight grand. So can we get 12 grand? No, I'd have to go spend seven grand into it. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Uh, all right, another truck. Okay, so most of this engine is put together. Holy cow. Um, most of it is together. It has all four wheels. Uh, wow, this one might be a contender right here. I think I'm missing like... Okay, wait a minute. What's the price tag on it though? Seven grand. So I'd have to spend... Another 7,300 on it. Another 7,300. And our goal with the cheap challenges is to get it to run. <clears throat> that could be... That could be a... A, a go-to right there. And we have another hot rod here. I was a price tag on you before I even look at it. Six grand. Looks like I might need a lot of engine work done to it. So yeah, I'm not even. I don't think I'm gonna entertain that at all. Uh, some mileage, one eighty six. Like it really matters, right? Okay. Have ourselves here. Uh, the Bandit Pro Touring. This is uh, 
with one of my this 15 4 ah okay so that's not even going to be a, that's my contender it's already over budget okay we have a mustang here uh engine looks like it's a lot of it is gone uh missing a tail light got all the wheels what's the price tag on here five grand I can ease I think I could easily put yeah I think I could easily do this one up I know it's a Mustang and all and it's already like under under its estimated value so I think that the Mustang will be a contender definitely I think that's what I'm gonna come back to to be honest um, there is another Mustang it is a boss 302 at four grand Ooh, a lot of that engine's gone. Yeah. See, now if I can... The Porsche, that's going to be so out of my budget. Yeah, well, eight grand. I'd have to spend another... 60... 6,600 into it. I don't think that will work. So... All right. Dodge Charger RT, nine grand. Yeah, that's... A lot of that engine's gone as well. So most of them with the engine being gone, this is an ugly hot rod. That's not even worth looking at, to be honest. Um, all right, we have a... Hellcat. Edgewood Hellcat for seven grand. Yeah, I I need to stick to the under the budget here. Uh, an Evolution MR at seven grand. No, those parts are going to become really, really expensive. Here is another. This is one of mine. This is the HQ Custom Tow Truck that I have out there um, for four grand. Um, what are you looking at here? A lot of the engine is gone. Oh man, I'd have to. It has all the tires. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think that Mustang is my best bet. And we have Skyline for three grand. It's four grand. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. The Skyline might be a ticket here. Uh, let's see what the engine looks like. The engine is in bad shape. Uh, missing a wheel and a tire. Yeah. Um, and this is four grand. I wonder if I can get this thing on the road for six grand for a 10K challenge or 10K challenge. That's what I'm looking at. Um, that might, that might do it. VW bug, a Baja bug over here. Uh, price tag 73. And a lot of those engine components are gone. So the Mustang, and oh, we have a little, little Fiat. Uh, three grand. I could do a lot with this little Fiat. Hang on. What are you looking at here? Um, the engine is pretty much toast does have all the wheels and tires let's see here let's see just how bad we are here yeah we're in pretty bad shape up here I think everything up here would have to end up being replaced but it's all intact and that's the main thing whether it's in bad shape or not Yeah, I'm looking at this is the suspension. The Fiat could actually really be a contender. And all we're looking at doing is getting it up and on the road, right? So for that's the 10K challenge. So it's gonna be up 
think I'm going to try this little Fiat here. Yeah, I think I'm going to try the little Fiat. The price tag, write it down, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty-one ninety. Thirty-one ninety. We're going to go. We're going to try a ten k challenge with this one. All right. So thirty-one ninety is the price tag on this, and then um, we'll figure out how much we could spend on it. And probably on the next episode, we will tackle this thing. So let's go ahead and we'll buy this. We'll accept it. We'll send it to the garage. Here we go. Now let's head out and let's get back to the garage so we can do some racing, shall we? Let's go. All right. Because it doesn't cost anything, we're going to move you. We're going to move you over. Give you a bath inside and out. Let's get rid of the rats and crap in this thing. Uh, looks like it is white in color. But that's not bad. This looks like it's in horrible shape. We'll need some body pieces, that's for sure. But I'm hoping we can do this all under 10 grand. But yeah, 3190. That's our little baby right there. That's that's about it. And uh, I'm not going to worry about how much it looks like right now. Um, let's see. How much is it to... $600. Bucks. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this, right, I'll figure out if it's worthwhile fixing it. Um, fixing a body on it um, but for the meantime like I said this is nothing more than to get this bad boy up and running which may take me a little bit um, not a big deal not a big deal but uh, we've got uh, it does have an oil pan on it we need to run through some of the stuff and make sure that the, it can run um, so I may have to put stuff together mount a bunch of buy a bunch of parts put it together and see if I have any internals that need um, something done with it, like a, a new piston or something. All right, so let's go drag racing, shall we? Uh, we have our hot rod. Uh, I feel it. I feel we have a big win today. Oh, oh, look, I got the other seat. Yes, while I was out looking for the Roadrunner parts, I happened to find one around a seat, so I stuck the seat in there. <laughs> so, yeah, my hot rods come together. Certainly. It certainly is. Let's go to the drag strip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the king of the sands. We're doing a quarter mile strip. We're going to do D-class because that's where we're at. We're at a 188 on the D-class. That's what we're going to do. We're going to spend 400 bucks. Of course we are. Now let's make some bets, shall we? Um, this is where we can make some uh, some pretty good money. We'll go with the uh, El Camino. Uh, I am going to go with the Roadrunner. Uh, I will go with. Uh, I'll go with the the six on. Yes. Uh, these two definitely going with the Porsche. Uh, between these two, I really want to go with the uh, Delray Custom. Um, that's probably a mistake. Uh, it's Charger, definitely. Always got to go with the Charger. And here, I want to go with the. Uh, Atlanta, definitely. All right, so let's start racing. Woohoo, I won that one. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wish me luck. All right, line lock in. Bottle up. Do a quick shift. Oh, I am gone, baby. He's not even anywhere in sight. Look at that. And I had a horrible, horrible reaction time at the 1 8th mile marker. 
Um, I had him. I had him way ahead of that. Um, so yeah. Next. Oh, I'm losing my butt in all of these. Look at that. My God. Really? All right. A Ford Fal and a Crown Vic. Uh, I'm going to go with the Falcon. Uh, between the Smith and the... Oh, that's a tough one. Race and van Vintage. Uh, I'm going to go with the Hot Rod again. Uh, with the Mustang and the i4 turbocharged, huh? Got a drag rating. Got to be that one. Okay. So let's hit it, people. We've got it. We've got to get it. We've got to get it. So far, we've advanced. All right. Line lock. Throttle up. I'm leaving them in the dust. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I hit the brakes. I was <laughs> oh, my God. And look, my reaction time is still worse than his, and I still pulled it off at the 60-foot mark. I was ahead of him, and I just kept going from there out. All right. Oh, look at that. I won all three of those races. Nice. Okay, so between the Ford Falcon and the Roadster. All right, this is going to be a tough call because he's got the Vantage race tires and got the sport tires. Um, I'm going to have to go with... Uh, uh, hang on, why can't I... Why can't I bet? Can't bet for some reason. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where am I at? Oh, I can't bet on myself. That's right. Can't bet on myself. All right. Stupid. What am I thinking? Okay. Um, I'm thinking the hot rod's going to do it. Okay. Let's do this. There for a second, I thought I did something wrong. Like I had lost the race, and <laughs> it's like, oh my god, really? On camera, I am like losing my mind. All right, this is for a brand new door, baby. All right, line lock, throttle up. All right, we didn't red light. That's a good thing. Shifting at five grand. And we pulled him. We pulled him well. And threw it. There we go. Oof. My reaction time sucked. Yeah, but I still pulled it. Still pulled it off. Nice. Hey, look at that. I am going to make some big ass money on this one. Look, $3,300 so far. All right. Roadster against the Eliminator. Let's go, people. Got to take him. Gotta take him. This is this is hot rod against hot rod. This is like 32. This is like 32 four drag racing just craziness right here. Alright, I gotta be on my I gotta be on my P's and Q's here. So you ready? Let's go. I feel like my reaction time was good. I'm pulling him off. This Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he had such a better reaction time. A look at that at the 60 foot mark. I was at a 2.7. He was at a 2.7. I barely had him there. Um, look at that. At the even at the 330 foot mark, eighth mile, I was just he was just barely there. He was he was there. So we we did good. We did really good. All right. So we did well. We won 57 hundred dollars hot rod <laughs> hot rod is making me some money all right let's head back to the garage sally
All right. $5,700 this car made me. And I am going to return the favor to her. Um, let's go put her on the lift number two. All right. So first off, what I want to do is... Um, Uh, come on. Get rid of that. Let's see if I can get the headlights fixed. The headlights are in bad shape. Um, I can't repair either one of them. So let's go ahead and replace those. So we're going to go here. Uh... Where's my baby at? Not in. Oh, no, no. She wouldn't be there. She would be here. Body workstation. Um, so let's get that, that, and I want to get the door. Definitely. Um, I'm gonna put some new headlights on her. There we go. That looks nice. Um, let's get a windshield. The windshield. Finally get a windshield for her. So let's go back. Let's get a windshield. Okay, so spent uh, 170. Wait. Um, spent 85 and 85. I'm watching my pennies now. I mean, seriously, you got to, right? Um, and I bought the door. Keeping an eye, keeping a total of my stuff here. Uh, windshield, got the windshield in. Um, I'm gonna take the door off. Go. Here we go. Looks a little bit better. Um, I really not digging these bumpers. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is replacing the bumpers. Um, what else I got? Okay, I'm going to sell these pieces. Regardless of what I make on the pieces, what I'm going to end up doing is just whatever I spend money on it, um, I'm not going to exceed that 5700 Um, all right, I think what we're going to do... What I'm going to do is uh, refurbish the rear end here. Well, you know what? I think it would be best if we did the front end first. So let's go ahead and refurbish the front end. I think with $5,700, we can refurbish this front end and be okay. I'm going to spend money on it. And actually, what I'm going to end up doing is repairing the pieces as much as possible and replacing some of the others. Um, my hot rod is slowly starting to take on the transformation into a nice street rod. You know what I mean? That's done. That's done. Over the other side. So if I can repair the pieces, it'll cost me a little bit less. I should be able to do the whole thing for less than three grand. And I just leveled up. How about that? Now level 40. How about that? Wasn't even expecting that. I don't even play this game for levels anymore. It's all about um, getting to my next build. Now, what can I do with the next build? High rods are going to get done. So I'm just going to start spending money money willy-nilly on this. And we'll see what we get on it. Okay. 
so I've got the whole front end off of it. We are going to repair the pieces as much as possible, including the brakes. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw those brakes on there. All right. Crap, I didn't see how much that was going to cost me. Let's see here. While that is figuring it up. Uh, 170 plus 85 plus 85 plus 340 equals. Okay, we've spent 680 so far. And we are looking at 98 or 150. All right, let me, let me quick calculation here. Um, what was it we won? 50... 700, 5400, we'll go 5400. I don't remember now. Subtract to 680 equals, I've got 44720 to spend. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take the 984, 154, subtract 4720 equals, it means I can't go below uh, nine, 979,434. So that's what I'm looking at. Sticking with. Sticking under. These don't cost me anything to repair, so that's a cool thing. So we're going to go ahead and repair everything that we possibly can here. I don't care how much it's going to cost me. I don't think it's going to cost me nearly as much as buying all new. So that's the thing. I am going to have to buy brand new brake pads. So that's going to be a thing. I'll do my best not to screw any of this crap up. So that way I can keep these pieces on my hot rod. And we're keeping it as original as possible, right? We are keeping it as it is, as we drug it out of the, out of the barn or out of the, the auction. Whatever the case was. I don't even remember where I bought it from now. Ooh, that was bad. Okay. Now we have that. Um, let's grab our brakes. Uh, all right. Nothing's going to get painted. Nothing fancy on this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. We need two of those. Two of those. Bushings, those, two of those, and two of those. All right. Let's hope I don't have total meltdown here and we can get through all these pieces. All right. Brake pads. Two. Nothing fancy either. Uh, inner. Outer. And these are very inexpensive stuff parts for the front end so I think I did a right choice of getting those in okay we'll cap two all right all right so I'm down to 983 that is a far cry from the 979 I still have plenty plenty of uh, cash to go, it looks like. So, get, um, we need, I need to buy parts. I need to get shock absorbers. So, let's do that. Shock absorber two. Two of those and two of those. There we go. Set up. All right. We'll get this front end all realigned up here, and then we're going to take it back over to the dino shop just to be sure that we are not screwing anything up. I'm hoping not. I mean, we should be able to replace the suspension and all. 
without affecting the numbers. As I say that though, I thought I could do that with the tires. I didn't think tires would affect the numbers as well, but it did actually. So we just want to make sure that we're not screwing anything up while we're doing this. We want to keep it as a C class. If anything, I want our D class. I want to make it as a high D as much as possible. I want it right there. You know what I mean? Let's get this in. We're sticking with the regular brakes on here. I think we're going to be okay with those. I'm not going to do any painting because that does cost money. And I don't want to cost any more money than I need to. I could have bought a brand new set of tires on this. I think maybe I should have done that. Um, probably could. Let's uh, let's get the rest of this taken care of first, shall we? That I don't I don't I can't sell any parts because it'll throw my numbers all off. So I have to wait to sell parts until after I'm done. Done, done, and done. Bearing, rotor, cap, adds, brakes, and tire. All right, I think we've done a pretty good job just getting that set up. All right, let's. Um, I think you're. I think I'm right. I think I need to get some new tires on here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these off. Um, need some new front tires on this. Okay, I'm hoping it doesn't change. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, Go ahead and separate these. I'm going to find out the size of them. I'm probably going to go a little narrower on the front. Um, just because. We'll see. Um, Alright. So what do we have? These tires are... A 165. I don't know how freaking narrow I can get with that. 1465. Okay, so 165, 65, 14. Okay. Um, I just want to get the race tires to a 165, 65, 14, right? So two of those are going to be 892. Do I want to go race tire or do I want to go sport tire? Uh, sport tires are a little bit, are standard tire. Let's go standard tire to... 165, 65, 14. Yeah, for 178. We're just gonna go standard tire on it. We don't need any. I'm not worried about the front. Right? So we're gonna that's what we're gonna stick with right here. Um so yeah, we're gonna go with the standard tire up front. Um, hang on. Get this one mounted up. There we go. So this is what I'm gonna do. These tires, I bet, change the outcome of the of the car. So I'm gonna make sure if it does, then I won't have to go back to the old tires. You know what I mean? These are brand new tires, though. I'm hoping they don't. But who knows? Okay, so that should do it. I think we've gotten ourselves uh, in some pretty good shape with our hot rod here. I do love the color, but I don't think the color goes with the tan. That's the only problem. All right, we are going to send you over to the dino shop just to see what you're going to do. All right. 
right now we are looking at a 439 um cross our fingers people let's see what we got change it but that's good that was what i was hoping for so we didn't change our drag rating and we are down to a 980 982 and we could have gone down to a um 979 so we did make some changes to the hot rod hot rod is in better shape because of it and uh we're doing pretty good with it i think we're we're doing well i think it's it, <laughs> It looks it was looking kind of good and uh i think it doesn't i think it's uh in good shape as far as a drag racing machine that is for sure now we're going to stick her back outside oh all right so yeah drag or uh, hot rod is doing pretty good i think i'm going to dump i think i'm going to dump these these this nerf bar on the front i just don't like it i'm just not a fan i like the clean look um but i'll debate about that later all right ladies and gentlemen i think that's about it for today we got the roadrunner done we sold it made some cash on that um we've got the charger complete is sitting out here just a beautiful car i'm glad it's out here showcasing uh along with my uh ford f50 out here which i enjoyed uh enjoyed building that as well Got my tow truck i need to finish up i'm not even sure what color i'm going to go with that um but i may even change the wheels on it just because i've already got those on the hot rod but um i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet but yeah all right thanks everyone for hanging with me and uh we will proceed on with this now remember we picked this bad boy up for pennies right figure out how much we can spend to get this thing going in the next episode. Until the meantime, this is Hearst Quasar saying good night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button and throw me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Just to even say hi, feel free. I'd love it. Until the next time, this is Hearst Quasar saying good night, and I am out.